Well, new information on that chaotic scene in New Jersey. An attempted burglary in the wealthy community of Rumson ends with a crash and police shooting a suspect. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live in Rumson with more. Tony? And Sade, we just learned that the suspect in this attempted burglary is a 27-year-old man uh, from Newark, New Jersey. Now, this uh, began to unfold at about 4.45 this morning here in Rumson in the area of avenues of Two Rivers and Shrewsbury Drive. It only takes one action, uh, one incident that gets out of control where someone's going to get hurt. No one at the home where the burglary attempt happened this morning was hurt, but a police officer who responded was injured as the driver of this blue car, supposedly the getaway car, tried to speed away from the neighborhood. An officer fired, hitting the driver who then crashed into these hedges and attempted car theft similar to others that several other communities have faced. Like in Clifton, where this group broke into a home through a basement window, a mother and her children were asleep on the second floor while this gang searched for the car key fobs. This is a home in Tom's River. Again, strangers quietly searching a house for car keys while the family is asleep. And then this group breaking into a home in Fairfield, barely scared away by dogs. Some lawmakers have been calling for bail reform and legislation to stiffen the penalties for car theft, especially organized rings that are using minors to steal cars because juveniles face lighter penalties. Police tell us this, that there's no fear. It's actually sort of a just a uh, routine day for them, and uh, they know they'll be out before the ink is dry on the report. We want to get eyes on these kids and put them on the right path. That's the goal of our legislation. Um, presently, there is nothing that does anything like that. The Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office is investigating this latest incident in Rumson. No word yet on the suspect who was shot. Lawmakers saying it is time, though, to stiffen the laws immediately. It could happen. We, we go back to session next week. Yeah. It could happen next week. And again, that one police officer who was injured uh, this morning was taken to a local hospital. He was treated. He is expected to be okay. For now, we're live here in Rumson. Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.